All right, one more from mapify.com. Yeah, what are we doing? We're solving linear. Mm -hmm. Right, that's of the form of that guy down there. I wanted to do an example with some trig. Sure, getting tricky with it, na 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 na. Here, what are we doing? We're identifying our p of x and our q of x because um, this is the form that we've been using to solve these linear differential equations. Yeah, so um, we're finding our integrating factor. Right, how do we do that? We integrate e to the, or e to the integral p of x dx. Great. And then upon doing that, we find that it's e to the x. Oh boy. Now we're going to take our integrating factor and we're going to multiply it by our linear equation. Why? Because this is going to make it exact. And then we can integrate it with respect to a variable. Okay. So then we go through and we integrate that side. We see over on the left hand side, we have the derivative of that product. Oh man, I hope he shows me how that goes. And then on the right, we're going to have e to the cosine. Ha! Huh. Integrating both sides. Great. Um, um, get out the way. Left on the left side, when we integrate the derivative, yeah, we uh, uh, have the function. Let me show you how to integrate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I told you I was going to show you how to integrate this. What? e to the x cosine x. Well, we see here, um, this isn't a u sub. This is by parts. So we need to break it up into its parts. Here I'm going to let u be e to the x. Okay, that makes dv the cosine of x dx. What are we going to do with this? We're going to find our du, and we're going to find our v. Why are we doing this? Because we need um, this form. Sure, the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral v du. Okay, now let me put my pieces in there. Sure, my u is e to the x. My v is sine x, so that goes there. Minus this integral, e to the x, sine x, dx. Here again, we gotta go parts. Yes, which part? Here I'm gonna let u be e to the x and dv be sine to the x. Right, so that makes du e to the x and v minus cosine x. So again, I throw them into this form. Sure. What do I have here? I have um, this minus is on the outside of that integral. It's coming from, no, it's not. That's from v, sure. So get rid of that. Yeah. So what is this? This is v u minus the integral minus u dv, sure. Um, v du. Okay, now that we got that all straight, minus and minus is going to make plus. And that's what brings me up here. Sure. So now I'm going to take it to the top. I'm over here. My original integral, that guy, is equal to this first part. Where'd that come from? That came from right here. Okay, now back here. Great. That minus was on the outside of everything. Why? Because it came from here. Okay, we found out what this integral was. It's this stuff down here. Okay, so I'm putting it right back up there. Yeah. So now I'm going to distribute it. Bam. It makes plus, it makes minus. Okay, and then what do I see here? I see here that I have these on both sides. So I'm going to add um, the integral of e to the x cosine x dx to both sides, getting me two of them over here. What else did I do in that step? I factored out in e to the x. Great. So now I have e to the x times this. And what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find that integral. So I divide both sides by 2. And then here we go. Hmm. Needs water. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. OK. Now that I've showed you how to integrate both sides, Right, let's integrate that right hand side. Yeah. So he writes it up there, right? One last step, we need to solve for y. So y, because we want our function in terms of x for y. Okay, here we go. Um, and that's for y. Great. So then he goes and he divides both sides by e to the x. Hence on the right hand side getting e to the minus x. Yeah. And he adds the c, the constant of integration, 
finish him. One other form. He wants to go ahead and distribute that function in there. Right, um, right. And he does, getting rid of the EDX on that one side. And he has that constant squeeze it in there. And he's done.